not only uh, uh, titled Army of Roses, there is an important subtitle uh, which reads Inside the World of uh, Palestinian Women Suicide Women, giving us the impression that this book is thorough, comprehensive, analytical, uh, and profound. Uh, she also claims that she is, say, I'm, I'm quoting here, I'm neither, neither pro Palestinian or pro Israeli. Uh, she also uh, tells us of her moral obligation uh, to, uh, to, like this book was a moral obligation, uh, it was because of these moral, she says, moral dilemmas that I decided to write, to write that, that book. So, again, she is introducing the book, introducing herself to us in this type of object. I was thinking when you were quoting there, and I was reading what, what she was uh, going to quote before, I was thinking of taking her to court. When I am quoted wrongly in a book like this, for something I did not say or that has been twisted, I should take the author to a, a court. The best teacher of hatred is the occupation. That was my work. Because at the time, there was no way of so. <laughs> As you all heard, both the figures are actually wrong. He has not a 10 children, not 13, they are only 8 as his own daughter stated. This poses a question to all of us in our minds. Now, whether she actually interviewed him or not, if the book is wrong. The book was a uh, friend. Uh, reading the book, turning the pages of this book, uh, shows and proves actually that uh, readers are always uh, pushed into one way of, of taking uh, events. You know what this book? The Israelis are always injured, injured, and are always innocent. They are good. I'm not saying they are not so, but at least you shouldn't have focus on the good qualities of the Israelis and just focus on the bad qualities of the Palestinians. So at least you should compromise between both, which are uh, mentioning the good qualities and the bad qualities on both sides. Now after carefully analyzing Army of Roses, we found that the factual errors permeate the book. She says, quote from Suhad, my oldest son Abdullah was 20, she explains, when he was shot and killed by soldiers. My child is dead, I have no reason to live, I only wanted to revenge his death. Now, all of what I said was wrong. This is the real story. Her name is not Suhad, her name is Suhad. It's not Jadallah, it's Judallah. It's January, yes, not 4th, it's 24th of 2003. She is a mother of five, ranging from 11 to 24, not a mother of four, ranging from five to 15. Her oldest son is Muhammad, not Abdullah, as she said. And the story is not that she was going to commit a suicide bombing. It was that Suad was in a car that happened to be having some wanted people who were ambushed by Israeli soldiers. No Israeli couples, she was not holding a bomb, and she was not doing anything as she said. Now her son's here, the oldest of which is Muhammad, 24, Ahmed, 22, Abdullah, 20, Anas, 13, and Yasser, 11. Ahmed did die uh, uh, by Israelis, as she said. And now the shock, ladies and gentlemen, she said that she made an interview with the woman, Suhaib, which we know now that her name is Suhaib, while we know that she died instantly, instantly, on the ambush. Now the question to us, who is Suhaib? Who did she interview? Well, the woman, her name is Suhaib, and she died. What? Exactly. She is a paradise. The Palestinian woman is at the top of the list of women facing war. They are not schizophrenics. They are not 
cat killers. They are not suicidal. They are the pride of this society, the Palestinian woman. And they Girls, women, Palestinian girls, Palestinian women, in jeans, in jibbab, with a head scarf, without it, all together. And they are all honored. They are all good Palestinian girls. They are all here to speak about Islam, about Palestinian mistakes, or the ignorance. Is the ignorance of the West is the ignorance of the whole world to who we are. It is safe then to say that Barbara Victor is a prime example of an expert who establishes a context of no context. Um, preparation I prepared for this. Uh, we have been preparing for this workshop uh, for almost three months. I um, attended this and this was I wonder it, it was amazing. In fact, I met the whole thing, uh, the seminar was just amazing and I guess that had to be done so many times before because we have to analyze and read so much so much about what uh, Western writers write about us, we the Palestinians, especially and Arabs generally. Um, we have to defend ourselves against the black image they are trying to portray about the Palestinian society as a terrorist one. So we have to show that we are we are not terrorists, but we are the, the victim that no one can see. Or... 